welcome to the project demonstration of implementation of a solar pv array based multifunctional ev charger so electrical vehicle charging so this two uh, representing as a electrical vehicle battery and electrical vehicle uh, wheel presentation dc motor presentation and next the whole uh, project block diagram is like this is a main block diagram so solar panel to the diode and to the capacitor bank so this is what this one is a solar panel we are going to use 12 volt uh, 5 watt solar panel and next coming to the diode and capacitive bank so this one consists of the diode and capacitive bank and next coming to the dc to dc bidirectional converter so this one is the dc to dc bidirectional dc converters the main purpose of this one is whenever the uh, the vehicle, electrical ev vehicle uh, battery is low potential then the solar panel is high potential then this will allow the power from the solar panel to the battery and whenever we want to take the power from the battery from the electrical vehicle means if we want to utilize that into the home appliances then this will allow the current uh, battery uh, voltage from uh, battery to the to the ac to dc bidirectional converter here ac to dc and dc to ac this is the bidirectional converter this section the below section is whole like 230 volts inputs and uh, 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 multiplexing from the home appliances as well as AC to DC bidirectional converter this one is so here battery to this converter and this will convert the DC to AC and whenever if you want to charge a battery from 230 volts input instead of solar panel so just connecting this to the or grid, uh, grid power supply 230 volts then this will take the 230 volts input and provide the sufficient voltage to the uh, electrical vehicle battery charging purpose so in this manner solar panel to the battery through this bidirectional and next from the battery through this bidirectional converter to the AC to DC as well as to the AC home appliances. So let me explain you the flow. So if you want to charge a battery from the solar panel just we need to connect the solar panel at this section solar. And now whenever we place the solar panel under the sunlight then this particular light will on and will show us the charging status and it will be fully charged in a duration of 12 hours maximum of 12 hours and if you want to charge a battery from 230 volts grid power supply inputs just we need to connect this transformer inputs to the 230 volts plug and then we can see the LED indication here as we will get the sufficient voltage and here the flow is so we are going to converting the 12 volts uh, uh, 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and this 12 volts, uh, volts AC it will be converted to the 12 volts pulsating DC with the help of these four diodes and after this we will get the pulsating DC and this capacitor will remove the pulses and we will get the pure 12 volts uh, voltage and it will be given input to the parallel one is from the solar panel another is from the grid power supply AC that will be given to the DC to DC bidirectional converter and to the battery and here again parallelly we will conduct giving the DC to the AC converter here and it the in this one we can see one IC that's a CD 4047 IC so this particular IC will convert the 12 volts DC to 12 volts AC first and then after that particular 12 volts AC will be given input to the step up transformer so this will be uh, provided the output of 230 volts AC and that will be given to the our 230 volts load and also here coming to the battery ratings here we are using the 12 volt 2 amp battery this battery pack consists of two battery packs so one battery pack of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series so 12 volt 1 amp and this also same 12 volt 1 amp and these two are connected in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amp power supply and this just the on off switch to run our electrical vehicle presentation so this will be on and off for the electrical vehicle presentation by this DC motor and next coming to the flow from the solar panel same here we are pointing the 12 volts inputs but though we are using the four diodes the main purpose of these diodes is convert to uh, AC to DC but generally we are providing DC power supply so then this won't work and coming to the next there are another two diodes the main purpose of these two diodes is whenever the high potential is placed here it will stop the current flow from the battery through the DC to DC converter to the solar panel means it will be stop over here only means it will protect the solar panel uh, from the battery to the solar panel same here also so the purpose okay so this is the main and coming to the inverter if you want to utilize the DC to AC conversion here this is the on off switch one switch on the load so here we are getting the 230 volts and here we are getting the 12 volts by providing the 
इतने तो वोल्ट इनपुट पैरल ट्वेल्व वोल्ट डीसी पावर सप्लाई